Did you know that in Teams Rooms on Windows, you can change the background of the front of room display? The front of room display is that big blue thing on the screen, or let's zoom in that. Right there, it's got kind of a blue and black triangle thing. But for many reasons, at my company, we want to change it to be something different. So how do we go about that? Let me start not on Teams Rooms and showing you how to change it, but how to create the graphic. So let me bounce over to a PC here and show you how that's done. Here I am on my PC and I'm gonna to go to the Microsoft Docs article, which talks us through how to do this. And I've made a shortcut, aka.ms slash Teams Rooms theme. So that'll take us straight to the section. If not, you'll see it's here in Docs, under Devices and Room Management. Microsoft Teams Rooms, Manage, Settings with an XML file, then down here towards the bottom of that document. It talks us through how to do this. Now, the thing I really wanna point out here is this custom theme Photoshop template. Let's click on that, and that's gonna give us a template that we can work with to create our own custom image. So if I go to my Downloads folder, you'll, you'll see this theming template Microsoft Teams Rooms. Now this is in a uh, Adobe Photoshop, but I don't have that. I have paint.net. So if you bing paint.net Photoshop plugin, you'll be able to install a free plugin and then at least open this file within paint.net. So I just dragged it on top of paint.net out of Explorer, click open, and here is the template. So this is designed with a bunch of layers. So you can untick, let me get this layers view right here in the middle. We can untick a couple things and I don't always see what goes away. Uh, you'll wanna keep this one, the example UI overlay. So that's the time right here, the 11.55 AM. You'll wanna keep that because that way when you design your own background, you'll know where certain elements that are mandatory on the screen. Like you can't remove this 11.55 AM and this conference room name. Uh, we'll get rid of, I know, welcome, this, 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 uh, right here it's just telling us in the bottom, any image you create has to be 3840 by 1080 in width. That's the requirement. So we're just gonna get rid of that because we don't want that in our image. We don't want that. Um, I think when you have dual screens, this is where it crops out. So the things underneath here won't be seen on a dual screen, but if it's single screen, you will see this right hand side. Here we have some demo images, and I'm just going to use one of these. I can unclick this, and then it shows like best. So the best, this is the best one because there's a lot of contrast between light and dark. The time and the conference room information isn't overwritten. Here, kind of light blue, white, maybe a little tough to read, not bad. Okay, again, it's a lot of, it's bright, you know, light green uh, with white. This one's okay, a lot of text over here. Let me get this menu out of the way. A lot of text over here, a little text heavy, but it still looks pretty good. Uh, maybe is here because now we have this, uh, this, little, this little guy right on top of the room information, so we don't really, really want that. And then we get into bad, where we've got text sitting on top of the clock and the information of the room name. Uh, more bad, it's the same thing, just a lot of text. Who wants to sit there and read a book when you're walking into a conference room? Again, we're hiding the information down here for the room name. We also uh, have data underneath the clock. Again, the clock and the room name cannot be removed. That's put in by the system, so you have to work around those. Uh, here, uh, I think we understand why that isn't going to work. So I am going to go with best. I'm going to take this image. And I'm gonna save it out as a, well, let me check the file. I believe we can save it as a PNG or JPEG. Let's see, the custom theme must be placed for JPEG, JPEG, PNG, bitmap. So I'm just gonna go with PNG. So file, save as, and I'll put it, yeah, I'll save it back to here. I'm gonna save it as a PNG file. Um, I'm gonna call this wallpaper. Uh, you could call it theme. Uh, I always go with wallpaper, and that's the name I'm going to use when I upload this into onto my Teams rooms. So there we go, flatten. That just got rid of all the layers, so now we have a single image. So if I go back here, double click on wallpaper, uh, there it is. There's my thing. So now I need to transfer this file to my T 
Teams rooms. There's a couple ways you can do it. I have enabled remote desktop on my Teams room. So I'm just gonna RDP, you know, use remote desktop protocol. So here we go, let me kind of get that out of the way. So admin with my password. <clears throat> now I can sit here and wait for a little while. Eventually it'll let me sign in. So on the console, we can either wait or tap okay. I think you, you wait 30 seconds, it'll let you in anyway. So now uh, we have, now we're on the, on my team room. So I'm just gonna take this wallpaper.png, which is on my desktop. I know it might be a little confusing, but maybe this will help. If I kind of resize this, this box is my team's room. So I'm just gonna take wallpaper.png, copy and paste it over here. So now it's on my team's rooms. Now I need to move it to the right place. So let's do that. The right place, where is the right place? Well, it tells us here inside this document, <clears throat> back to docs, the custom theme image file must be placed in C, user, Skype, app data, local package, my blah, 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 slash local state. All right, so copy. And let me go to Explorer and control V, paste that in, and that's the directory. So I am going to take my wallpaper.png and move it into this directory. Now, I know we kind of jumped down to the bottom of this document, but there's a, a of the Skype settings.xml file of how to set it up. What we need to do now is create, let me go up to the top, whoop, an XML configuration. So there's an example here. So I'm just gonna copy all of this. And I think in the notes for YouTube, I'm gonna give you a, a, a more the, the, the final output of what I did here. Uh, I'm gonna right click, create a new text document. I'm back on my MTR. This is on the MTR and I'm going to call it Skype. No, Skype settings.xml. Yes, change the file name extension. Double click that, open it in notepad. Okay, control V. And now I'm gonna delete a bunch of stuff. <laughs> this is why I'm gonna give you the shortcut. When we've got Teams meeting, SFB, custom display name, Bluetooth, duplicate into send logs, send logs, devices, devices, theming. I'm gonna delete all this. Down to theming, I'm gonna keep theming, and I'm gonna delete everything else. So there we go, this is what I want. Um, my file name is going to be, what do I call it, wallpaper.png. Let me verify that. Wallpaper.png, yes. Now, these things here don't work. This is legacy from previous versions of Skype room system back in the day. So you can, you have, as best I remember, I haven't tested, as best I've been told, let's put it that way. You have to have these values. So 100, 100, 100, uh, sorry, you have to have these attributes, red component. You can change these to anything you want. Probably between zero and 255, I don't know. It doesn't matter, these get ignored. So I'm just gonna send them back to 100, 100, 100. Just make sure you have these here, I've been told and that's it. So I've got my Skype settings.xml. Save. Now I have to reboot. If you're in the middle of the day in production teams rooms, don't reboot in the middle of the day because I'm remotely on here. Since I've remoted onto here, I've pretty much already screwed up any meeting that's going on. But uh, let me get, just go ahead and kick off the reboot. Otherwise, just wait. Because you can always copy this over using PowerShell, group policy, file shares, SCCM, Intune. You can use a lot of ways to copy these files here less interactively. It's like in the as a background thing, I did it very much foreground. Wait for the, the, the Teams Rooms devices by default reboot at around 2.30 every morning. So you can just wait for that 2.30 and reboot, come in the next day and you'll have your wallpaper. I'm gonna pause, we'll come back after this thing's rebooted and hopefully we have a new wallpaper. I switched my MTR to dual screen mode. So here we go. Here we see the full new theme across both Teams rooms, front of room displays. Mouthful there. We got cool new graphics on the front of our monitors or in the front of our rooms. So that's how you do it. It's relatively straightforward now that you've seen it. All the links and my sample Skype settings XML file will be in the notes of this YouTube video. So good luck updating your conference rooms with awesome new graphics.